Hey there, hackers. Welcome back to Cyber Sleuth. You know, Android security is kind of like this constantly evolving game of cat and mouse. Developers are always working on new ways to keep things secure, but there are always people out there looking for vulnerabilities. And that's exactly why ethical hacking and penetration testing are so crucial. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Android hacking with the top 10 tools you need to know straight from Kali Linux. These aren't just some random tools, we're talking about the heavy hitters, the ones that can help you really understand the security posture of Android apps and devices. Whether you're a seasoned security pro or just starting out, these tools will level up your game. We'll break down each tool, what makes it special, and how it fits into the bigger picture of Android security. So, if you're ready to step up your cybersecurity game and learn how to think like both a developer and a hacker, then buckle up because things are about to get interesting. Let's get started. First up, we've got AppStat, and let me tell you, this tool is like having X-ray vision for your Android APK files. We all know APKs are the lifeblood of the Android ecosystem, but how much do you really know about what's inside those packages? AppStat dives deep, giving you a detailed breakdown of an APK's structure and permissions. Think of it like getting a comprehensive report card for an app before you even install it. You'll see things like the app's permissions, the components it uses, and even the libraries it relies on. This is pure gold for understanding the potential security risks an app might pose. But AppStat isn't just about uncovering potential threats. It's also a fantastic tool for developers. By analyzing your own APKs with AppStat, you can gain valuable insights into your app's attack surface. You'll quickly identify any unnecessary permissions you might be requesting, which is a surefire way to improve your app's overall security posture. And here's the best part. AppStat is incredibly user-friendly. You don't need to be a command line wizard to get the most out of it. Its intuitive output makes it easy to navigate through the sea of information it provides. Trust me, once you start using AppStat, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. It's an essential tool for anyone serious about Android security, whether you're on the offensive or defensive side. Next up is MobiSec, and this one is a real powerhouse. Imagine having an entire toolkit dedicated to mobile security testing, all in one place. That's MobiSec in a nutshell. It's a comprehensive framework packed with a collection of tools designed to put Android applications through their paces. We're talking about static analysis, dynamic analysis, and everything in between. MobiSec gives you the tools to simulate real-world attack scenarios and see how your app holds up. You can test for vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and insecure data storage, all the usual suspects that keep security professionals up at night. But here's where MobiSec really shines. It's not just about finding vulnerabilities. It's about helping you understand and fix them. The reports generated by MobiSec are incredibly detailed and provide actionable insights. You'll know exactly where the weaknesses lie and what steps to take to remediate them. And if you're a developer, integrating MobiSec into your development pipeline is a no-brainer. It's like having a dedicated security team on call 24-7 constantly checking your code for potential issues. This proactive approach to security can save you countless headaches down the road. Now let's talk about Frida, and this one is for all my hackers and tinkerers out there. Frida is a dynamic instrumentation toolkit that lets you inject your own code into running Android applications. Yeah, you heard that right. It's like having the power to control an app's every move, like a puppeteer pulling the strings. With Frida, you can intercept function calls, modify data on the fly, and even change the app's behavior in real time. It's an incredibly powerful tool for understanding how an app works under the hood and for uncovering hidden functionalities or vulnerabilities. Now I know what you're thinking, this sounds pretty advanced. And you're right, Frida does have a bit of a learning curve. But trust me, once you get the hang of it, the possibilities are endless. You can use it to bypass security checks, manipulate app logic, and even automate complex tasks. But Frida isn't just for the hackers out there. Developers can leverage Frida's power for debugging and testing their apps in ways that were previously impossible. Imagine being able to step through your code in real time, modifying variables and observing the results on the fly. Chapter 4. Dex2Jar, the Java Bytecode Translator. Moving on, we have Dex2Jar, a tool that might sound a bit technical at first, but trust me, it's a game-changer in the world of Android reverse engineering. Here's the deal. 
Android apps are compiled into a format called DEX, or Dalvik Executable, which is different from the traditional Java bytecode. This makes it tricky to analyze them using standard Java tools. That's where DEX2JAR comes in. It acts as a bridge between these two worlds, converting those .dex files into familiar .jar files that you can easily crack open with your favorite Java decompiler. It's like translating an ancient scroll into modern language, suddenly making the secrets within accessible. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, for security researchers and analysts, this is huge. It means you can dive deep into the inner workings of an app, understand its logic, and potentially uncover vulnerabilities that wouldn't be visible otherwise. But it's not just about finding flaws. Dex2Jar is also a fantastic learning tool. By decompiling and analyzing apps, you can gain a deeper understanding of how they're built, how different components interact, and even learn from the coding practices of others. Chapter 5 Droidbox, your personal Android sandbox. Let's talk about Droidbox, a tool that's all about giving you a safe space to poke and prod at Android apps without the risk of blowing up your own device. Think of it as your own personal Android testing lab where you can unleash your inner mad scientist. Droidbox is a dynamic analysis tool that lets you run Android apps in a controlled environment. This means you can monitor their behavior, see what network connections they make, what files they access, and basically spy on their every move. But here's the beauty of it. Even if the app you're analyzing is malicious, it can't harm your system because it's trapped within Droidbox's secure sandbox. It's like observing a dangerous animal from behind the safety of reinforced glass. This makes Droidbox an incredibly valuable tool for security researchers who deal with potentially harmful apps on a regular basis. They can analyze malware samples, understand their behavior, and develop countermeasures without putting themselves or their systems at risk. Chapter 6. Androwarn, the Android Code Whisperer. Next, we have Androwarn, a tool that takes a more proactive approach to security by catching vulnerabilities before they even have a chance to become a problem. It's like having a security expert looking over your shoulder as you code, whispering warnings about potential pitfalls. Androwarn is a static code analysis tool specifically designed for Android applications. This means it analyzes your app's source code without actually running it, looking for patterns and red flags that indicate security weaknesses. Think of it like a spell checker for your code, but instead of grammar mistakes, it's looking for security flaws. It can detect things like insecure data storage, improper use of cryptography, potential SQL injection vulnerabilities, and a whole lot more. The beauty of Androwarn is that it integrates seamlessly into your development workflow. You can run it as part of your continuous integration pipeline, ensuring that every code change is automatically scanned for potential security issues. Chapter 7, AppCliques, the Secret Exposer. Now let's talk about AppCliques, a tool that's all about sniffing out those sensitive pieces of information that might be hiding in plain sight within your APKs. You know, those API keys, secret tokens, and hard-coded credentials that developers sometimes accidentally leave behind. AppCliques scans your APK files and looks for patterns that suggest sensitive data might be present. It's like having a bloodhound with a nose for secrets, sniffing through your code base to uncover anything that shouldn't be there. And trust me, you'd be surprised how often sensitive information ends up in APKs. It could be a simple oversight, a rushed development cycle, or just plain old human error. Whatever the reason, AppCliques is there to expose those leaks before they turn into a major security breach. But AppCliques isn't just about pointing fingers. It provides actionable insights, showing you exactly where the leaks are and what data is exposed. This allows developers to quickly remediate the issue and prevent potential exploits. Chapter 8. Up next, we've got AppTool, a tool that's like the Swiss Army knife of APK manipulation. It's the go-to tool for reverse engineers, modders, and anyone who wants to dig deep into the anatomy of an Android app. AppTool allows you to decode resources, rebuild APKs, and even make changes to the app's code. It's like having surgical precision when it comes to dissecting and modifying Android applications. For security researchers, AppTool is an invaluable tool. It allows them to analyze an app's structure, understand how different components interact, and potentially identify vulnerabilities that wouldn't be visible otherwise. 
But it's not just about breaking things. AppTool is also a fantastic tool for building and customizing apps. Developers can use it to translate an app's resources, modify its behavior, and even create their own custom versions of existing apps. Chapter 9. Let's talk about Androic, a tool that's all about forensic analysis, digital investigations, and getting to the bottom of what really happened on an Android device. It's the go-to tool for anyone who needs to extract evidence, analyze user activity, and piece together a digital timeline. Androic is designed to work with both physical devices and disk images, allowing you to extract valuable information even if the device is no longer accessible. It's like having a team of digital detectives at your disposal, ready to uncover the hidden clues and reconstruct events. With Androic, you can recover deleted files, analyze call logs, examine text messages, and even extract data from popular apps like WhatsApp and Facebook. It's an incredibly powerful tool for law enforcement, forensic investigators, and anyone who needs to conduct a thorough investigation on an Android device. Chapter 10. Last but certainly not least, we have Androbugs, a tool that's laser-focused on uncovering vulnerabilities in Android applications. It's like having an army of security auditors combing through your code, looking for any potential weaknesses that could be exploited. Androbugs is a vulnerability scanner that specifically targets Android apps, and it's incredibly good at what it does. It comes preloaded with a vast database of known vulnerabilities, and it's constantly updated with the latest threats. When you unleash Androbugs on an APK, it meticulously scans the code, looking for patterns and signatures that match known vulnerabilities. It's like having a security expert with years of experience meticulously reviewing your code, but at a fraction of the time and cost. But Androbugs doesn't just point out the problems. It provides detailed reports that explain the vulnerability, its potential impact, and even suggest ways to fix it. It's like having a personal security consultant guiding you through the process of securing your app. That's it for today's video on the top 10 Android hacking tools from Kali Linux. We've covered a lot of ground from basic APK analysis to advanced dynamic instrumentation. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and it's important to use them responsibly. If you're just getting started in the world of cybersecurity, I encourage you to explore these tools, experiment with them in a safe environment, and never stop learning. The world of Android security is constantly evolving and the more you know, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself and your data. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Android hacking and cybersecurity. We'll be posting new videos every week, so stay tuned for more tutorials, tool reviews, and hacking challenges. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below for more information on the tools and techniques covered in this video.